In the absence of conclusive pictures of the attack, independent analysts have stepped in. At Purdue University in Indiana, they've built a computer model to see if damage inside the Pentagon could prove what happened. First, they modeled the building and its interior supporting columns. Then, a Boeing 757, its wings, fuel tanks, and fuselage. We wanted to understand what did the damage in the case of the Pentagon. Uh, was it the plane? Was it the specific parts of the plane? Was it the fuel? Inside the building, we see how the front of the plane gets cut up. But as soon as the liquid of the fuel enters here, it starts doing damage to the column where it hits squarely. Their analysis suggests the jet fuel caused the worst damage. There's a lot of talk about why is the hole so small. And really, when you think about it uh, and you see how the plane is cut up, you will realize that it is not necessarily the plane that does the damage, but the fuel and the mass of the liquid. Their research was not funded by the government. It was an independent academic project. But when the results were published, they provoked an extraordinary backlash. What surprised me was the emotional pitch of the controversy in particular. We got some rather drastic email uh, that accused us of being agents of the government and that we were prostituting ourselves to help them cover up uh, all sorts of extraordinary things that were surmised and um, we could not understand that.